MI384 Height Adjustable Fireplace TV Mount Installation Things to consider before you install the mount. While a fire is lit, use an infrared thermometer to check the temperature of the approximate mounting position. The temperature at the front of the fireplace mantle must never exceed 100 degrees Fahrenheit. If mounting to wood studs, the studs must be spaced no more than 24 inches apart. These studs should be symmetrically positioned or the installation will not be even. The drywall must be no larger than 5 eighths of an inch thick. The distance from the mesa of the fireplace to the wall must be less than 12 inches. If your TV weighs less than 17.6 pounds, the arm may not fully lower under the weight of the TV. The minimum vertical space between the bottom of the wall plate and the top of the mantle will change depending on the depth of the mantle. Deeper mantles will require higher vertical clearance to ensure that the TV and the mount arm have enough clearance when raised and lowered. Refer to the table in the instruction manual to determine the required minimum vertical space. Use a tape measure to determine the center point of the mantle. Mark the center line with a pencil or tape. Use a stud finder to locate the studs in your wall. Then, mark the edges of each stud with a pencil. Determine the placement of the template by referencing the mantle depth chart. Hold the template to the wall and use a bubble level to ensure straightness. Tape the template in the location that lines up with the center of the wood studs and mark the four locations where you will drill your pilot holes. Remove the template from the wall and drill the four pilot holes using a 3 16 inch drill bit to a depth of 2.7 inches. Concrete or brick wall installation. Determine the placement by referencing the mantle depth chart. Use a bubble level to ensure straightness, then tape the template to the final mounting location. Mark all four corners and two in the middle of the template, and drill six pilot holes using a 3 8 masonry drill bit to a depth of 2.7 inches. Clear any dust and debris from the pilot holes and insert the six provided concrete anchors. Connect the spring arm to the wall plate using the provided bolts as shown. Optional. If the studs on your wall are not centered with your mantle, position the spring arm on the wall plate according to your wall stud placement. Secure the visa plate to the end of the spring arm by using the provided washers and nuts on the two lower bolts protruding through the end of the spring arm. Install the assembled arm to the wall using the four provided lag screws and washers. Concrete or brick wall mounting option. Install the assembled arm to the wall using the six provided lag screws and washers as shown. Pull the spring arm down until it is perpendicular to the wall. Insert the arm lock pin through the holes shown here to lock the arm in the lowered position for easier access to hang the TV. Select the appropriate size mounting hardware for your TV's mounting holes. Attach the Visa arms using the selected bolts and tighten until secure. Assemble the crossbar by attaching the crossbar latches over the bar as shown. Then, secure them using the provided bolts through the pieces into the nuts. Then, tighten until secure. Attach the crossbar at a height that is close to the bottom of the TV without being visible. Secure it to the Visa arms using the provided bolts and tighten them until secure. Adjust the height of the handle as needed. Hang the TV onto the horizontal supports of the mount arm, ensuring that the four points of contact are fully seated in their hooks. Install the safety brackets using the provided bolts in all four locations as shown. Remove the arm lock pin and make sure to keep the mount arm in its 90 degree angle when adjusting the spring tension. If the arm raises on its own, then turn the adjustment bolt towards the minus symbol. If the arm lowers on its own, then turn the adjustment bolt towards the plus symbol to increase the tension until the arm stops at the desired position. The level of the screen can be adjusted by loosening the nuts on the lower back of the visa plate. Adjust to the desired level and tighten the nuts back down. The screen can be tilted by loosening the adjustment handle on the upper back sides of the visa plate. Adjust to the desired tilt 
and tighten the handle back down. Cables can be run through the cable management clips on the underside of the mount arm to prevent the cables from hanging freely. Install the decorative cover plates onto the top and bottom of the wall plate. Optional soundbar installation. To connect the soundbar to the mount, attach the crossbar so that it is below the bottom of the screen. Secure it to the Visa arms using the provided bolts and tighten them until secure. Attach the soundbar to the bolts protruding from the back of the crossbar using the provided washers and nuts or other bolts as identified by the user manual of your device.